Hey, it's Jeff Hartman, the Neptune Man, and today I'm going to show you a third way to check your analog pressure sensor or your APS. Now, what we have to do is take it out of the machine, and you got to spread these little things here apart. Now, I've had this apart a number of times, and then uh, you can actually slide this out once you get these spread apart just enough. There's little barbs in here. And then, so that pops out. Then you gotta kind of lift up on these tabs carefully so you don't break them. Like I said, I've had this part a number of times. Now this is the next level. Uh, we can go ahead and unhook the hose. And then, we can just pop this board out. Slide it out. Sometimes you might have to wiggle it a little bit. I usually stick a screwdriver in the back until it just slips a little bit. There's a little catch in there. There it goes. And then you can slide it out like that. Now we have our board. Okay, now we've got this apart. We got to put um, the first pin when you're looking at this thing, the circuit board. Now this is the surface mount version, the SMT, pressure sensor component. The first pin is ground. The second pin is our output. And then the fifth pin is our power. So, um, that's the plus 5 volt. So we put ground and we put 5 volt here. We should get a reading out of here. So we'll check that. Okay, now we've got our board out. What we can do is um, I've got a 5 volt power supply. And we're going to put this on here. Pin 1 is the ground. And pin 5 is our 5 volt. So we'll clip that on 5 volt. Carefully. Try not to short anything out. And if I measure that, I get 5.17 on a meter. Now if we go to pin 1, I'm sorry, pin 2, pin 1 is our ground, pin 2 is our output, 0.38. Now if I flip this down to the 2 volt scale, I'll get a better uh, resolution on that reading. So 0.383, okay. And if you put, if you blue on this, which I don't recommend because you might damage it. There's a diaphragm in here. Uh, you could uh, make that go up and down by breathing on it. Okay? So 0.383, that's with the empty tub. That's what you should get on the sensor. Hey guys, it's Jeff Hartman, the Neptune Man. Hey, I want to follow up with this video. Um, I just want to let you know, I, I did show you a good pressure sensor or analog pressure sensor and you should get about 0.383 volts and my power supply was a little high if you noticed in the beginning it was about 5.17 now if you have a 5 volt point let's say 5.00 uh, your reading might be a little lower like 3.80 or 3.75 because what happens i'm sorry 0.387 because it's a ratio metric output and that means if you raise or lower your 5 volt supply that output is going to change with that with the ratio of it so you'll get a little higher if your power supply is you know, 5.17 so if you find that your output was 0 0.16 0 0.18 0 0.19 or whatever what's going to happen is you're going to get the f35 and the sud because the machine expects around 0.38 it could be around 0.4 but there's probably a range in the microprocessors programming so if your machine or your APS is reading low you can replace your pressure sensor that's actually soldered on the board I have two kits I have one with a surface mount this particular one I showed you was a surface mount chip and then the other style is a through hole it actually has a pins that go through the board so I'm offering both kits so you can repair your water level sensor, or they call it an analog pressure sensor, or APS. And uh, it's, it's a low-cost alternative versus replacing it. Plus, you know, sometimes those pressure sensors are hard to get because they're on back order from Whirlpool. And uh, if you got a lot of people, you know, experiencing this failure at the time, you may not be able to find those pressure sensors. So um, you can repair it. 99% of the cases... The repair kit will fix it and I believe what's happening is the uh, pressure sensor just wears out the actual component 
it has a little nipple on it for the hose and what happens is uh, as the water level changes as the tub rotates in there and also you just slam the door it might be getting a little bit of that slam you know when you shut that door you're gonna get like a little boost of air pressure in there and there is a vent but uh, I don't know how much of that air pressure is actually going to get pushed up that tube that goes to the, uh, you know, measure the water pressure. So that could be what's damaging these things over time, just wearing out. But, you know, you can fix it for the kit. I would go ahead and definitely recommend that. So but if you're getting 0.38 around there, 0 0.4, 0 0.37, you're probably okay. And your pressure sensor is probably good. And then you could have just the CCU problem, which I have a kit for that as well. And you can replace those components and that should get you back up and running so if you have any other questions please contact me this is jeff hartman the neptune man and you can reach me at www.f35air.com thank you